Welcome, my name is Dr. George Vargas, Curator and Director of Programs at Mexicarte Museum here in Austin, Texas. Today we're going to talk about Bruno Andrade, marvelous retrospective show. He was a native painter of South Texas who lived in Corpus Christi. He was born in 1947 in San Antonio, Texas. He died in Corpus Christi, Texas in 2013 and he was buried in San Antonio. Bruno Andrade was a master painter and a master educator. Bruno Andrade was a highly trained academic painter as well. Most important, Bruno Andrade can be described as an abstract colorist. However, there are other identities by which we can identify Bruno Andrade. American landscape painter, abstract painter, Latino Chicano painter, environmental painter, and again, as important, the title of our show reflects a native painter of South Texas. Here we have a photograph of Bruno Andrade in his studio at work, and we show the creative process. Most important, we show him as a human being, a man. Yes, he was well-educated. Yes, he was well-beloved by collectors, his students. Most important, we want to remember him as a human being, as a man. This particular show is a retrospective. It includes his early work as a student and continues showing his mature work in his later years. Dr. Rudolf Arnheim a well-known Gestalt psychologist or philosopher. And his expertise was the perception of art. And of course, there were other inspirational figures in Bruno Andrade's uh, academic training, Gauguin, Cezanne, and especially Matisse. And it's Matisse who, who will truly inspire Bruno Andrade throughout his career because many times Andrade had been compared to Matisse. In fact, Bruno Andrade received two research grants by which to study or research Matisse's uh, collection at the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. Eventually, Bruno Andrade received a teaching position in Corpus Christi. However, he also became a co-partner of a gallery in New York City, MB Gallery in New York City. And while there, he was somewhat unhappy, uh, somewhat isolated, because he missed Texas, his home state. He missed the bright sunlight, the vast landscape, the open skies. And we'll talk more about that when we see a couple pieces of Bruno Andrade uh, in New York City and especially uh, sketching uh, Central Park. These artworks are great examples of his artistry, his legacy, and his contributions to the world of art. Most important, however, th these works are a, a metaphor for his life as he develops his painting style, his color palette, and his vision regarding color theory. Also, it's a metaphor for his teachings. Now let's move on to the rest of the exhibition. It's broken up into sections. This is the first section, and we'll move on to the other sections throughout the exhibition.